Several months ago, as part of my suitcase solar video series, I published an idea for an adapter where you could use your RV 7-pin trailer wiring harness to connect to the solar panel. And you can find that video on my website, and I'll provide a link here. And in that web page, I did produce this drawing. However, I've had a couple comments where people were asking if I could do a step-by-step -step on how to construct the adapter. Now I'm going to provide links for the two parts that's required for this and I suggest you buy those because then you'll be on the same playing field that I am in providing this instruction. The two items that you need is a 7-pin socket and also you need a set of pigtails. The total cost of this is maybe $15. So the first step is identifying the two pigtails. And you'll notice you have a male pigtail and a female pigtail. And actually, they will connect together. And they disconnect by depressing on these two little tabs and then pulling this one out. And it can be a little difficult because there's an O-ring here, and this is really not that great of a design. We want to identify which cable is positive. In the solar panel industry, when using these connectors, the male connector is always positive when it comes from the power source, which of course is a solar panel. We have a solar panel, and then the positive lead from the solar panel is a male connector, and then we have a charge controller, and that would go to a female connector. For positive and then from the charge controller to the battery the positive would be again on a male and then then on the battery side the positive would be a female and you might think that the rule of thumb where the positive side is on the male connector from the power source you could say, well, what about the battery? Isn't that a power source? And should that not also be male? Well, no, because the battery is the destination. The solar panel is the source. And then, so what I like to do is to put a piece of red tape to help identify the positive side, which is actually the female connector. And the reason we're putting it on the female connector side is because this is the connector we're building right here the positive connector from the battery. So then we want to look at the socket. And the socket has a nice uh, waterproofing gland. And you can unscrew it in the middle. And then when you open this up, be careful not to pinch yourself there. And then you just push that out. Take your two pigtails, feed them through the gland cap and then into the gland itself. And you can loosely put it back on. And then on this particular connector, and it's a little bit hard to see, we have both a number and a function. So we want to locate number one, which is ground, and number four, which is 12 volt battery. And number one ground, I can see that. Just to make it easier to remember, I'm just gonna put a one on with a silver sharpie and then you can count in a counterclockwise direction when looking at it from this end two three four and then you can verify pin four now one caveat is that there are different standards there's an rv standard and an sae standard the color code and the pin numbers are different between the two and i did cover that at length in another video which i'll post here and if you buy a different connector than the one I specify, it may have that different configuration. So if you're not sure what you're doing, I would recommend buying this connector. And then it's just a matter of connecting the wire to the proper terminal. And then we'll also connect terminal one. And it's also a good idea to go around the remaining terminals and make sure they're tightened down because you don't want them to loosen up and rattle around inside. And before you button it up, just verify that the female connector is marked with red tape 
and that that goes to pin four. And then when you put this back on, there's an orientation with three indents in here that sometimes it's hard to figure out how to get back in. But if you look at it through the front, you probably can get it. And then once it's in, just simply tighten the collar down. Lean nut. Before you tighten it down, put some silicone in here or something and that would completely waterproof it. So then one last step is you want to go to your 7-pin connector in your RV, plug it into the adapter you made with your multimeter, connect the meter to the adapter, and we're measuring about 14.4 volts maybe, and we're measuring positive voltage, which are both good signs. That tells me that not only did I wire it correctly, but that the battery is connected to my 7-pin wiring harness so that I can indeed charge the battery through the solar panel. At the end of the day, this is a fairly simple project and I hope this video will give you the confidence to do this if you're not sure about yourself. Visit rv-project.com